Double Face Bowls will be shown here on Candy Apple TV. I am your host, DIY Queen Diva. You will need your ribbon that shows double face on the ribbon, your scissors, and your lighter. So you want to make sure you have enough tail hanging. You're going to go around both index and middle finger, then bring it up in between your index and middle finger. Then you take the ribbon and wrap around your index finger. Now this ribbon shall automatically be right behind your middle finger. So once that is behind your middle finger, you're going to take this ribbon and you're going to tuck it in between your index and middle finger where the V section forms at the bottom of both fingers. So now you're going to tuck this ribbon in between the two until it reaches on the other side. So once this ribbon reaches on the other side, you want to just pull the ribbon out Flap it over to form your bow. Turn your hand over. Now you want to take this ribbon and tuck it under the flap that sits on the lower right side. So you're going to tuck this ribbon underneath the flap. I cannot stress this enough. You're going to go underneath the flap, not over. Then you're going to take this ribbon and you're going to pull up to tighten the bow. And then you're going to pull down to secure it. You may have to do this a couple of times just to make sure your bow is tightened. Okay, so now you want to take this bow off your fingers and you want to go ahead. You can either fluff your bow or you can cut your tails. In this situation, I am going to cut my tails. So I am going to cut slant ways up on one side and slant ways down on the other side so it's very important to have double face bows so your ribbon can look the same on both sides you won't have a shiny side here and a dull side there they're both going to have the satin look on both sides so I'm just gonna tap my tails with a lighter so that my ribbon doesn't unravel at the ends and be careful. So once you are done tapping your tails, you're done and you can move on to your next bow and repeat the process. Now look at my cute bow. This is how your bow should be looking. You may have to slide the middle knot over to make sure your bow is even on both sides. Other than that, you're just going to repeat the process by bringing that ribbon up between the two go over your index finger with the ribbon now your tail is hanging and you bring that tail in between the v section that sits in the middle of your index and your middle finger you just keep pushing that through you pull it out and you flap that ribbon over to form your bow now turn your hand over and now you're going to tuck this ribbon underneath the flap that sits on the right side make sure you go underneath the flap and not over the flap now pull that ribbon up once you go under the flap you're going to pull the ribbon up to secure the bow and then you're going to pull it down to tighten it so you're just going to go back and forth to make sure that that bow is tightened and there's your cute bow so now I am fluffing out the bow. You can fluff out your bow or you can cut your tails. It's up to you. So what I am doing is fluffing out my bow, making sure everything looks straight and even. I am pushing over my knot just a little bit to make sure my bow is nice and even. This is cute. So now I am going to cut my tails. I am going to cut slant ways going up on one side and cut slant ways going down on the other side and then tap my tails and continue and repeat the process. Okay, look at this cute bow. So let's go on to our next bow and excuse my nail because I did burn the tip of my thumb a little bit. So you just have to be careful. So I don't think you guys are having any issues right here. I think you guys are having issues after you tuck this ribbon through your fingers and flap it over. 
I think you guys are having your issue once you flap this ribbon over. Once you flap it over, turn your hand over and tuck it underneath the flap. I really, truly believe you guys are having your issue right here. If I am wrong, make sure you put that down in the comment section down below. Let me know the issue that you're having. But I truly believe that you guys are getting confused at that flap. So in order for me to help you, make sure you put your comment down below to let me know what issue you are having with your bow. So when I do another tutorial on bows, I will address it. I am doing a Paris theme. So I am using hot glue to attach the button on the bow to make it look cute. If you want these cute little Paris buttons, make sure you click on my Amazon Bake Shop. Down below in the description box, there's a link that you can click on. Now look at these cute little bows. These are too cute. So let's go ahead and do one more bow. You make sure you have enough tail hanging. You take the ribbon and you wrap around your index and your middle finger. Once you do that, you bring the ribbon up in between the two. Then you take your ribbon and you go over your index finger. Once you go over your index finger only, the ribbon should be hanging in behind your middle finger. You take that ribbon and you tuck it in between the two where the V section forms at the bottom of the two fingers. You push the ribbon all the way through, pull it out on the other side, and you flap the ribbon over to form your bow. You take this ribbon and you tuck it underneath the flap that sits on the lower right side. You pull the ribbon up to secure and pull down to tighten. You may have to go back and forth a few times. Now here's your bow. Take your bow off your fingers. You can either fluff your bow or cut your tails. It's up to you whichever one you want to do first. In my case, I am going to fluff the bow out first. And after I fluff out the bow and make sure everything is even, I look at the knot. I may have to slide my knot over a little bit just to make sure the bow is even on both sides, the left and the right side. Then I take my bow, I cut my tails, I cut slant ways up, slant ways down, tap my tips with a lighter and just make sure everything looks cute. Help me understand your issue that you are having making candy apple bows or bows for your treats. Make sure you comment down below to let me know so that I can help you in my next bow tutorial. If you love this video, make sure you hit that like button. Okay, and next you're going to tap your tips with the lighter. And once you're done, your bow should be looking like this. If you find this video to be very helpful, make sure you continue to watch my upcoming videos by clicking on them right here, right now, and I'll see you in a few seconds over in the next video.